Good afternoon, Friendship United Methodist Church family, visitors and friends. God bless you on this Lord's Day. Thank you for joining us for Bible study this evening. Praise God. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Come on, lift up those hands and praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, saints of God. Praise Him like you mean it. Praise Him. Praise Him from the depths of your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, saints. Praise Him with me. Praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, saints of God, I just want to begin with a prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us to see another Mother's Day celebration. And, oh God, we thank you for all the mothers in the world. We thank you for every female, oh God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And, oh God, we come tonight to hear from heaven through Pastor James, through the Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, have your way with us, oh God. Teach us your way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let somebody say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, saints of God, uh, I want to talk about Thanksgiving tonight. I want to talk about be thankful. Be thankful. Well, praise God, this is certainly not... Uh, Thanksgiving holiday, but saints of God, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Remember that. Every day under the sun is a day of thanksgiving. Praise God, praise God. In other words, you can celebrate thanksgiving anytime. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, saints, I'm going to ask you to Turn with me to 100. Uh, the Lord led this to my spirit, and I want to uh, talk about Thanksgiving. Be thankful. Uh, Psalm 100 has a subtopic that says, A song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. God's faithfulness to his people. Therefore, we should be thankful. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Being thankful is not just for the Thanksgiving holiday, as I said earlier, but praise God, we are, we are ordained believers. We are ordained to be thankful at all times. Praise God. Be thankful every day. Hallelujah. Our greatest uh, thanksgiving praise is when the Lord opens our eyes every morning. Praise God, saints of God. This is the ultimate thanksgiving and praise. When God allows you to see the rising of another sun, praise God, you should usher him into your presence. And saints of God, when I first open my eyes in the morning time, you know what I do? Uh, in bed, I, I say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you, O oh Lord, for another day to be in your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints of God. He's worthy to be praised. Glory, hallelujah. If you will, I'm going to ask you to turn again to Psalm 100. We're going to go through the, the scriptures, praise God, and I pray that you will uh, hear something that will bless your spirit. Let us begin with the very first verse. Hear what it says. A psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful shout, all oh, you lands, plural, lands, plural. 
saints of God, this is talking about the entire world. Mm -hmm. The entire world. Every human being, every living creature. Oh, praise God. Even the animals, the insects. <laughs> we will hear them sometime. Praise God. Amen. So if they praise God, saints of God, you know we ought to praise the Lord. Amen. Make a joyful noise. You know what a joyful noise is? It doesn't, it doesn't mean a loud noise, but a joyful noise, a noise of praise and thanksgiving that comes from your heart. Amen? All you land. Now, saints of God, if you look around the world, we are going through a pandemic, praise God. In other words, God wants us to give him the praise, be thankful, even as we go through this pandemic. Not one time did I shut down from giving God praise or being thankful. Oh, there were some moments of when I really, when I really was, was fretful, but saints of God, I never stopped praising God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You've got to praise Him. Hallelujah, saints of God. All the land, praise God. Every, every continent, there are seven continents. Every continent. Every county, every country, every city, every town, every community, be thankful during this pandemic. Verse 2, it says, serve the Lord with gladness. Listen, serve the Lord with gladness. Believers, you know who I'm talking to. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. <laughs> Hallelujah. In other words, saints of God, whatever we do for the Lord, we should be excited. We should be uh, thankful. We should be glad. We should rejoice. Whatever we do for the Lord. Believers, I'm talking to you because you know what I'm talking about. And it says you come before his presence with singing. Now, now do you see why we, 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 we sing in the sanctuary? Do you see why uh, there is music in the gospel music in the world today? You listen to gospel music every day. Praise God. Gospel music, saints of God, is a ministry. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, you, you, you go to churches and uh, there are praise team, praise God, male chorus, uh, uh, women uh, choir, hallelujah, mass choir. Well, all of this, God wants us to be thankful and praise him. You see, thanksgiving and praise uh, are twins. They come together. You can't, listen, you can't, you can't praise God until you are thankful. When you are thankful, then you praise God. In every hear what it says. No, pardon me, <coughs> pardon me. Know that the Lord, he is God. Know that the Lord, he is God. Saints of God, you have got to know that God is God. Amen? How can you be thankful or, or how can you praise someone that you don't know? You can't praise God if you don't know him. Believers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God wants us, thank you, Jesus. He wants us to get to know him because he is God. And you're God who has made us. No, you didn't make yourself. You are not self-created. God made you from the first man and first woman, Adam and Eve. Listen, God didn't have to, you, listen, God didn't have to bring you here. Amen? But he did you a favor. Praise God. Praise God. And it says here, it is he who made us and not we ourselves. There it is. Glory. Hallelujah. We are his people. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Look where God puts us. So this is what God is saying to us. So saints of God, we have more than enough reasons to praise God. Now hear this. The phrase, we are his people, God has chosen 
a people. Single. God has chosen a people. Amen? If, if, you, if you want the truth here, we are his people. Amen? But however, God has chosen the Jewish people. A people. The original people are chosen by God. Then down the road when Jesus Christ came, God added us. Believers, those who follow Jesus Christ, we are also God's chosen people. Pardon me, saints of God. I'm <coughs> dealing with a little dry cough today. Now, verse 4. Hear this. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Let's stop there. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. You see, in, the, uh, in biblical times, praise God, uh, the sanctuary, the, the, the place of worship, the temple, there was a fence around it. Amen. It was high walls. And what is it saying here is that the people had to enter through a, a gate. And once they got through the gate, then the courts led them to the sanctuary. Amen. The place of worship. Enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. So when you when you when you enter through the gate, saints of God, you should be praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up those hands of God. I thank you, Lord. I'm in your presence. Hallelujah. And then we go to the courts and we get into the sanctuary. And this is where worship begins. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And hear what it says, the second phrase. Be thankful to him. <clears throat> Be thankful to him and bless his name. Listen, we lift up our hands in praise. Be thankful to God for allowing you to be able to think, to have a sense of smell, to talk, to speak with your tongue, to walk on his feet. I said his feet because he who gave them to us. Come on, saints of God. Hallelujah. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Oh God, we bless God's name in his presence by praising and worshiping God. Be thankful, saints of God. You're still here. You are still here on this side of the globe. I love to tell folks, listen, we are still walking on the surface of the ground and the ground is not on top of us. Praise God. That is enough to praise God for. Can I get a witness, somebody? Now, let's keep in mind now, this, this, this Psalm 100 was, was written uh, especially for the people of Israel, the Israelites, yes. But even today, uh, this Psalm is for us. Praise God. Verse 5, hear what it says. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. What do you think people say? God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. David say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, God is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy in, I'm sorry, his mercy is everlasting. God is good. His mercy is everlasting. We all know what mercy is. God pleads our case with a lighter sentence. Truth endures to all generation. <clears throat> His truth endures to all generation. From the beginning of time until Christ comes back to rapture the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh my God. You know what truth is? The word of God. This is the reason it's so necessary to study God's word, saints of God. There is truth 
in the word. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The saints of God, I don't know um, how thankful you are. Even in this pandemic, we are going through racism. This is my word. Hatism. Praise God. We are going through many challenges, saints of God. But be thankful. And let me tell you something. The Lord has spoken to my spirit. God is getting ready to lift up this pandemic. He is going to, to, to get rid of it. He is going to allow it to subside. God is going to send it back where it came from. Not to, not to China. No, 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 no. He is going to bury it. And it shall come no more right now. I don't know what the next hundred years will bring, but God is getting ready to get rid of it. And he wants us to praise him during this pandemic with an, an issue, a sickness, an, an illness. Um, praise him anyhow. Praise him anyhow. Your words from your lips could bless your body. Your words could heal your body. And don't be ashamed to praise God. Yes, I used to be ashamed to praise God when I was a young man. <laughs> I was ashamed to say hallelujah. I was ashamed to say amen. I was ashamed to say thank you, Jesus. You know, you go to church, you got the shame spirit about yourself. You're shy. Everybody's saying hallelujah. You're looking around. What's going on? But when the Lord touches you, when God puts his hands on you, Especially when he brings you through something that man had nothing to do with. The sovereign God, the divine Father, when God brings you through something that you know no one but God could do with someone greater than man, you don't mind praising God. You don't mind giving him all the praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Take it to do praise him right now with me. Just say thank you, Jesus, for another day. Thank you, God, for allowing me to breathe right now. Thank you, Father God. Yes, COVID had me once, but thank God for setting me free. God didn't have to set you free. He didn't have to heal you from COVID, but he did. Be thankful. Even in the midst of your troubles. As you go through your troubled waters, be thankful. It doesn't matter what it looks like, believers. I'm talking to you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes God will let us uh, uh, fall to the pit, but he knows how to reach down and pick us up. He will do it every time. That's the God that we serve. And I tell folks, I used to be a worrier. Years ago, oh man, I worried about my life. But saints of God, when I came to Christ, listen, well, I, I can't stand here and tell you that I don't worry now. Yes, I do worry but for certain things. But praise God, I know that I have a keeper. In a little out of the ordinary, I go to the word. God's word will give you strength. Hear this. When you decide to go back to church, when your church, when the sanctuary opens again, I want you to go straight to the altar if you get there before worship service and just kneel at the altar. Hear this. You will have walked through the gates. When you get out of your car, you're going to walk through the some invisible those gates. Then you're going to walk down that sidewalk, which is the courts. Praise God. And it's going to lead you to the sanctuary. And if no one, if worship is not in place, well, even if worship is in place, if you feel to go down to the altar and just pray and, and ask and tell God, thank you, Lord, for bringing God. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. God wants us to praise him publicly. Hallelujah. Look what he has done for us. Getting personally, look what he has done for you, saints of God. 
You go to that church and you praise him like you never praised him before. Yes, if the spirit tell you walk around the sanctuary and give him praise, it doesn't matter who looks at you. You praise your God because you could have had it not been for the Lord on your side. Turn with me to 1 Thessalonians. Glory, hallelujah. Again, this is not Thanksgiving season. And then again, it is Thanksgiving season. It's not the holiday Thanksgiving. I want you to turn to 1 Thessalonians. And let us look at, praise God, the 16th through the, the 16th through the 18th verse. Hear what it says, praise God. Rejoice always. Believers, rejoice always. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It is. It doesn't matter how high the storm is raging. Call the name of Jesus in the midst of it. Rejoice always. Shout your way through your troubles. Rejoice always. Verse 17, pray without ceasing. You've got to pray, saints of God. This doesn't, it doesn't mean constantly praying, walking around praying every minute. No, 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 no. It simply means, glory, hallelujah, find a, a pattern and you pray to God. David prayed three times. Hallelujah, somebody. David danced for the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now hear this. Verse 18, it says, in everything, every situation. Come on, somebody. In everything, give thanks. In everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. If you sit, give. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't matter where you are. If you want medication, give the Lord thanks. If folks gossiping about you, give the Lord thanks. If they're trying to, trying, to, trying to scandalize your name, embarrass you, give the Lord thanks in the midst of your troubles. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. What an awesome God we serve. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. Hear this now. This is the will of God for us to give him thanks. That's a will for us. And it says, in Christ Jesus for you. See, saints of God, you got to have a relationship with God. <clears throat> you got to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. You don't know how to be thankful. You don't know how to praise him. Amen. This is the reason sometimes folks give up. Because they're not in the body of Christ. Yes, everybody call on the name God. Everybody call him Father God. That's fine. But do you have a relationship with him through Jesus Christ? See, that's the difference. Hallelujah. Saints of God in everything. Be thankful. For the next seven days, here's what I want you to do. Wake up every morning and read Psalm 100. <clears throat> read Psalm 100. And just think about, reflect on the teaching today. For the next seven days, we, you, you can start tomorrow, which is a, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It will end on Wednesday <clears throat> of next week. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say to God, when you first open your eyes, just say, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for another day's journey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And then find some time, if not the, in the morning, uh, sometime during your day, <clears throat> read Psalm 100. It's going to truly bless your life. It will give you strength when you are weak. And saints of God, let me say this. Praise God. Thanksgiving and praise is 
to help us in our miseries. Yes, it does. You can be so sad and so downcast, but when you start praising God, something is lifted. Try this for the next seven days, and I promise you, God will show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. I don't mind praising him, saints of God, because I know where the Lord brought me from. I don't mind praising him. See, you don't know my story. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. The Lord has kept me down through the years, and I'm not ashamed of him. Let the saints of God say amen. <clears throat> praise God. Go in peace and may the Lord bless you.